What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. So when I started this channel, I didn't want to be the tutorial guy. I still am pretty strong about that, but I keep getting asked in my comments if I'll do a slower version walking you guys through how I'm doing my illustration. So since you guys keep asking in the comments, I thought I'd go ahead and I'd do an illustration for you guys and walk you through it. So we're going to jump over to the computer and I'm going to show you step by step how I do my illustrations. So let's go through it. So what we want to do first is I'm going to start with a background. I like to start with some color just so we don't have to stare at a white canvas the whole time. I think I want to do like an orange color. So we're going to start by selecting a nice orange. And I'm going to lock this into place by doing Control or Command 2 depending on what computer you're using. And then I'm going to pull up the ellipse tool so just L on the keyboard. And we're going to start by making the left side of the toilet paper. So once we have that in place we're going to duplicate it so Alt or option on your keyboard and then just drag and that'll duplicate the object we're going to make this like a brown color because this is going to be the inside of our toilet paper roll so get that nice and centered perfect so i'm going to keep that over here and then we want to grab the re the rectangle tool so just m on the keyboard for the rectangle tool and we're going to drag that out a little bit and then control or option left bracket that'll send it behind and this is going to be like a darker white because we're going to have some shadow casted on there but we'll get into shading later on in the video go ahead and duplicate your left side of your toilet paper again and then we're going to grab these two objects and we're going to combine them with the path pathfinder tool and boom that gets them nice and combined. Our color got changed, so we're going to change that back to that darker grayish color. And now we're starting to look like some toilet paper. So grab that, sh that rectangle tool again, and we're going to draw a rectangle right here. Send that backwards. Cool V on the keyboard for your cursor, and we're going to start adding a stroke. So you don't have to add a stroke to yours. I like to add stroke to strokes to my pieces. Um, totally preference, totally up to you. I think it looks nice, so that's what we're going to do on this piece right here. So now, with just a couple quick shapes, you can already see we're starting to look like some toilet paper, right? So now we get to do the fun part. We're going to start adding some shades. So we're going to do P on the pin, uh, P on the keyboard for the pin tool, and we're going to get a nice little shadow right here. Want to get a nice little bend? Perfect. And then all I did was just grab the hand tool, so space on the keyboard, and that allows you to, or it's H on the keyboard, but if you grab space, it allows you to move your canvas around. Awesome. So I actually want a bigger bend on this, so I'm gonna grab this anchor point right here, and I'm gonna scale this out a little bit. I think I'm gonna move this anchor point just a little bit. Cool. And that'll give us a nice little shadow, so we're gonna turn that stroke off, and we're gonna make this black and we're gonna drop this opacity let's drop it to like 30 percent cool so that's a nice little shadow right there and we're gonna do the same thing over here on the left just draw a nice little arch right here oops all right perfect and so we're going to do I on the keyboard for the eyedropper tool. And we're just going to copy that right here so we can get that same shadow. And I'm going to do one more shadow right here. And this is just representing if you had like a little flap on your toilet paper, it's going to cast a shadow onto the bottom side. That's what we're representing right here. And again, I on the keyboard just to pull up the eyedropper tool sweet so I'm gonna grab this little bezier point right here and I'm gonna bend it that's gonna give us a nice little bend that's just stylistic I think it looks nice so that's what we're gonna do grab the pen tool again P on the keyboard what we're gonna add now is a little perforated edge and this is the sheets of toilet paper the little individual sheets so what we're going to do is we're going to bump that stroke up. I think we're going to do like a six or something. And we want to do a dash line. So I'm going to go to brush libraries menu, 
borders, borders dashed. This is the one we want right here, the top one. I'm gonna bump that up to, let's see. Six, maybe five. We want five. Four, five, six. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll stick with a 6.5. We're gonna duplicate this guy right here. I'm gonna add another one. So this is looking a little a little wide to me. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna skew it in a little bit. Perfect. Awesome. So now it's really starting to come together and look like a thing of toilet paper. So I'm gonna add a highlight up here on the top left. Grab the pen tool again. And I'm gonna draw like a weird little circle shape. And I'm gonna bend it in a little bit. And I want this just to be white because this is supposed to be a highlight right here. So white. And then again, control or command left bracket to send it behind. And you can definitely work it in layers. Um, I just don't think this piece is elaborate enough to justify layers. Um, but that's totally up to you. You wanna get some layers out, go ahead. I'm actually going to do one more little shadow up here in the top left. Although this is where the light it would be hitting. I want to do like a little, just a little contrast. Eyedropper tool again. I'm actually going to bend this a little bit. Not that far. Sweet. So now we're starting to look good. I'm going to do L on the keyboard to get my ellipse tool. I, because I want these shadows. And I'm going to duplicate this. Let me zoom in a little bit. So this right here, this is just going to show like some texture. Just a little fun little aesthetic thing. I'm going to group these. Control or Command G. And that gives us a nice little style nice little texture that's what we're going for right here i actually think i want to bend these i know most toilet paper is like flat on the edges but i think that's going to look a little more appealing i actually think i want to bring these strokes up a little bit yeah i think that looks a little more pleasing and i think i'm going to take this little flap bring it in just a tad cool so now we're really starting to get there we're we're just about where we want to be so what we're going to do next is we're going to add some accent lines. So we're just going to do P on the keyboard. I'm going to hold shift for a nice straight line. I'm going to bump this up, probably do like eight point font or stroke. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do the width profile. Just the first one. I like those nice sharp edges on the end. Stylistic. There's a bunch of different ways we can do accent lines. But this is how I'm going to rock mine for this piece right here. We're going to do some right here. And this is going to represent um, some action, like the toilet paper is unraveling itself. Um, just helps the piece. Looks nice. Definitely, uh, this is definitely not like a have to do thing right here. You could pretty much call your piece done, but I am not finished with it yet. I'm going to throw in some of these marks. Duplicate, and I'm going to shift rotate. Cool, and we're going to do just a couple more little accent pieces, and we're about done. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish this up in a fast forwarded view, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the piece. Well, here's the final design, guys. I hope you liked this one. It was really simple, so that's why I wanted to bring it to you and show you a step-by-step -step guide. If you want the original file, I'll have it in my Discord. You can do whatever you want with it, or you can see how I put this together in a slower pace.
Well, there you go, guys. That's the final illustration. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully you picked up a couple of tricks. If you were able to keep up and draw something with me, I'd love to see what you did. You can show me on Instagram, Twitter. I'll have all that in the bio, or you can just send it in the Discord. I'll have that link below as well. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, all kinds of good stuff. So check it out. Well, guys, I appreciate you being here. And until the next one, peace.